Hi, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and welcome to my channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Today I got a treat for you. We're going to build an antenna, and we're going to be saying, built, not bought. Don't go out and buy your 2-meter antenna. Why don't you build it? Find some junk around anywhere. Um, I was doing a little dumpster diving at work, and I found this. Nice fan, NFG. There we go. Out of balance. It's in the garbage. Kind of was looking at it. Can we make this an antenna? You know, what would work? Is it going to be a ground radio? Is it going to be... How about a captain's hat? Yeah, that's right. I was doing a little bit of research. Not a lot. Now, hey, don't quote me on this, guys. I don't know a lot about captain's hats. I just did a quick Google on it. You know, I, let's try this out. What are we going to do with this? So I'm like, well, how can we move? How could we... How could we make something work out of this and make it fun? And I was running past, a, I was going past another dumpster, yeah, a couple weeks later, and I found some 3 8 ready rod. Now this is 3 8 and it has a different, um, a different thread than most antennas. It's, I think it's an 18, and you need 24. So I grabbed this, and guess what? Mad skills, I did a little bit of welding. I welded on. A 24 thread bolt and a nut kind of combination to make it work on my mag mount. Of course, you got to connect it, right? So there we go. We got this antenna, roughly about 48 inches long. I um, wanted to make it a 5 8 wave antenna, and some really crazy stuff happened. You guys got to see this. This is this is kind of cool. It caught me. Uh, um, I don't know, lost for words. I was I. I Try it out, and I was like, "Wow, this 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 sucker really works." So let's give her a try here. We're gonna put the antenna over here. So let's rewind a little bit. Let's go back to it, and I want to show you guys just how it was built. So I took this, put her in the vise. It wasn't threaded yet, so I had to uh, had to tap it. I uh, used some tapping oil and uh, my tap. Um, in and out, kind of get the threads going, nice and clean. I did a running thread. Um, I wanted to connect this bolt to it. Yeah, I don't mind the fingernails. Um, so, messing around with the vice grips, got it clamped together. Um, in the end, I got myself the the thing welded together. And uh, don't don't quote me on my welding skills because those uh, welding skills. I mean, I'm not a welder. I'm, I'm something else. So, we got the sucker welded together. Continuity is good. Put her into the into the thing, into the mag mount, and something crazy started happening here. So here, let's go over to this. So uh, here's here's uh, the chart, and this is live, of course. If I go and touch the antenna, what's going to happen? Something's going to go weird, right? Yeah, it's kind of it's still rolling. So let's see here. Yeah, we're rolling. If I uh, measure this, and we're going to go in here, this is the SWR right now. And, of course, you guys don't freak out. I know it's in my garage, and this is not how you do SWR, but this is just for testing and videoing right now. Of course, I'll do it out in the real world. We got like a 3 point, uh, geez, a 3.3 on that SWR. So that is not going to be what we want to do. So we want to change, uh, we want to put put this uh, hat on it. Where did I put it? Right here. And we're going to screw this on top. And watch what starts happening to it when we put it on top. Screws on like that. Come back in here. There we go. Oh, terrible noise. Check that out. Now the great part is the usable part of the band. See how it flattened it out? And you can see that it is right at the top. So we're gonna change this a little bit. We're gonna go in there and we're going to we're gonna we're gonna spin it. We're gonna spin the antenna down a bit. Ah, get it around there. Okay, so I just touched it. Look how the curve is starting to, to level off. That is about a one point at the beginning of the band, a 1.3, 1.4. Let's go down a little bit more. A 
Now doesn't that, now doesn't that just, let's stop it right there. How is that? Now we might have went a little too far. I made a couple reference marks. Let's go down a little bit more. Now we're starting to go up a bit. Yeah, maybe we don't want to go that way. We want to, want to go the other way. Start spinning it. Now I want you guys to please let's let's uh let's make make some comments. You guys, the guys that are out there who've done this, guys and gals that have done this before and built these with a proper hat, of course. What are you doing? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? How is this working? I want to know because I really. I could Google it, of course, but let's uh, let's have a conversation about this. This is great. Like, look at that. Taking it now. We don't have any real way of doing an adjustable on the on the height of the antenna, but uh, we could trick it a bit by using alligator clip. Put it on top to lengthen it. And the length it kind of likes a little bit, right? So let's go a little bit the other way. Let's go down. No, she's kind of floating up. So let's uh, let's go up. Oh, not bad, not bad. So, <laughs> so there you go. That is. It, it, it's it's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I can't believe how it's working. And just look at the Smith chart there, how it kind of curves around. Um, and we have uh, just unbelievable guys. Uh, I, I would love to. I'd love to see your feedback. Let me know what we're doing here, how this is working. I'm going to try different hats. I'm going to thread on um, whatever, put a hole in the middle and thread on. I'm going to spin it. We're gonna try other things. We're gonna do a, a longer length, shorter, higher, higher, higher. Uh, whatever it is, man. Is, this is part of building antennas, and this is fun. Hands on, seeing exactly what's happening. I mean, you guys could read all you want about it, and you know, do the calculations, uh, antenna modeling. This guy here loves hands on. Let's let's see what it does, and and the whole test of it is is it gonna work out in the field. You want a low SWR, you want an antenna that has a nice gain to it to hit those repeaters. And uh, right now, this is a perfect time to play a lot on two meters. Um, uh, thermal ducting is happening right now in my area, and I'm hitting repeaters 600 kilometers away. And it is, it is crazy. It's fun. It's super fun. And that's part of ham radio is having a blast. So you guys get out there. You guys want, I'm going to put in the, in the comments how I built this on materials. Um, really, it's not a whole lot that you need, but get out there, have some fun, build an antenna, and don't forget, see your hams on the bands. 73 is all.